Welcome back, it's Operation War King as we touch down in Advent Patrol Zone 12, outskirts of Cairo. You're just in time, as our squad uh, goes on their first desert-themed mission. Done a lot of Arctic camo, now we're onto the desert camis. We're going in to recover the viral diffusion summary from the Advent facility and neutralize all enemy targets. This mission was listed as difficult, so I'd imagine there'll be a lot of tough enemies on it, uh, and quite a large number of them. Regardless, the intel prize was was too good not to risk it for. So we're gonna get down there. We're gonna see what we can do. Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Okay. Make our way through these buildings. Get over to this facility. Hack the planet, as it were. Probably hug the left side of the map if we can. Coming from the left side, but you still want to kind of cut around the house because it's a good fighting position. Uh, for one. Uh, it's only a one story though, huh? That's not so good. Well, I mean, at the very least, it does offer heavy cover, and here's the thing. Uh, it is a more direct route to the target, and we don't have a lot of time to fuck around, as always. Hey, I didn't realize Kilroy got a code name. Ch Chikong. Chikong Kilroy. Ch Kilroy Kong. Kong Ch Kilroy. Chad Kong Kilroy. It, it fits. Confirmed. I feel like it works. Heading to that location. Now we're rolling up with Bone Daddy. He's got that plus 20 hack, don't forget now. He's, he's been working on his hacking skills. Moving up to this house. Contact turrets. Take care of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. That's not very good. I don't want to have to deal with that. Looks like I'm going to have to. Okay. Let's keep it going, Ghost. Getting it done. Running. Let's do this. Okay. We might just have to blow this turret up and move on, I think. What out of interest is the hack, Bone Daddy? System infiltration in progress. Let's find out. A failed hack results in any nearby enemy groups being alerted to your position. But recovering a mission lead on an alien facility or disorienting enemies for two turns is possible. That's really the kindest thing you can get as a feedback. It's really not too bad to have nearby groups be alerted if you're already in a fight and they're already alerted. Doesn't matter too much. Recovering a mission lead on an alien facility might be handy. Disoriented enemies for two turns if we need it. Okay, so there's stuff in there if we need it. I think we're gonna have to set up to barge our way through this turret. Unfortunately. I don't think we're gonna be able to sneak past. It's gonna take just too much time to sneak past. We'll just have to to set this up and go for it, I think. Good copy. Moving on target. Oh, and we've got contact on the left to make These matters worse. Seem a little more agile Ooh, than the ones we've fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line, though. This is going to be difficult. No lie. Suarez on the side. On my way. Jamble with the ability to snipe. Roger that. Okay, we can barge our way through this, though. I've got a meme beacon and time is of the essence, so next turn we will attack. I'm on it. Eyes on the prize. They're fucking off, that's perfect. That'll allow us to barge our way through the turret without worrying about them. Praise Solomon. Okay, so we're gonna wanna move up and we're gonna start taking this turret down. Out. In position. We'll start off with a grenade to deal some guaranteed damage and apply some much needed shred. Hey, catch! All right. Now let's They're see what is what. Turret angry. As you'd imagine. What's my combat protocol gonna do here? 
It's going to straight up do the damage I need, I think. It's going to do two to five. So it could go either way there. It could work, could not. Airwire Protocol is going to stall time, but I don't need to stall time. I just need this thing to die. It's going to move up with Chad Kilroy. I guess that'll be okay. Chad Kilroy has apparently become twitchy. We're going to take a shot. Shred, please. Absolutely fucking beautiful. I love you, Mad Cannon. Well done. It has to be dead. That is nicely and quickly done. We're going to keep moving in with the uh, Phantom Scout. Moving to position. As quick as we can. Alright. Got another goddamn one. They do not want me to get to this objective. Alright, I'm starting to see what we want to do here. Oh god, they're so close. I think what we're going to want to do is barge our way into this building. Um, by doing so, we're going to set ourselves up uh, on this heavy cover. Probably use a grenade to blow this wall open and then hack the objective uh, by doing that, I think. We don't want to go too far left because of that stupid fucking muton that is over there. Okay, let's move in. Here I come. Oh shit, I just realized I'm going to reveal that. Turrets. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good somehow. I don't deserve to not have not activated that turret, but I didn't. Okay. Rachel, baby. You will keep moving up. Heading there now. Perfect. Overwatch. Come get some. Overwatch. Affirmative covering now. We'll see if the muton comes back now. Yes. We're gonna take some fire on this muton. Hopefully, we're gonna get a shoot at it. Yes. Okay, they're scattering left and right. Keep an eye on where they go. That's a nice shot. Nice one, Bone Daddy. Never disappoint. Okay, we don't have a lot of time, so let's get done with these motherfuckers and fast. I want to leave the shred for that turret on the right. We could probably take both out. If not, we can mean beacon with Jamble. So we might want to, we might want to just spread out here and just start engaging. Engaging like it's cool. All right, so we're gonna take that turret on the right first. Okay, I'll go. We're gonna split fire. If we can't take that turret, we're gonna have to reorganize, but this is the plan. Shit! That's bad. Missed. Now we might have to see if we can hack it, I think. So move to the side, Bone Daddy. We're gonna see if you can hack it. Let's move already. Hey, wire. What you got? Accessing. What have you got, Bone Daddy? What have you got for me with your little drone, buddy? You've got a hundred percent to shut this thing down. You've got an eighty percent to take temporary control of it. I will probably take the shutdown over the temporary control is honestly more important to me right now. You would've got temporary control, but fuck it. I don't need that thing to suddenly be unstoppable in this turn because I can kill these guys without the turret. And it wouldn't have probably had actions this turn anyway, so fuck it. Instead, all right, I can start to try and take that guy down. Meanwhile, Beagle's gonna gun these chumps Let's do this. into oblivion. Bang bang, Bowser. Very good. He's dead. Looks right. Like something over here. Now lightning hands. Unfortunate. Target still up. Now that does mean you're gonna have to mimic beacon, I think, my dear. Or you're just gonna have to weather this shot, which is also fine. But what it definitely means is we're gonna have to move to the side to take out this stun lancer with run and gun. Stick and move. So stealth's going away. Copy that. But hopefully kills are coming our way. They've got eyes on me. They see me. 
But he should be dead. Very dead. Okay. You can't handle me. At this point, I can probably just take a shot on this guy. He's not going to be able to flank anyone. He's n the best thing he's going to get is a half cover shot. Or a shot at Kilroy in half cover. I mean, that's what I just said. He's going to get a half cover shot at Kilroy at best. If anything, I can take an overwatch against him and make him run. Make him skitter. Probably my best bet. We'll go ahead and overwatch. Overwatch! Alright, turret's still shut down. We'll kill it next turn. Now we just see what the trooper does. He's running. We're missing. Did he dash it? No, he just moved once, but he's going to overwatch as well because he's scared. That's fine. That's good. We like playing the overwatch game of the advent troopers because we generally win the overwatch game of advent troopers. Now we're going to move in on the side with Suarez. Suarez is not going to take overwatch fire because she's got shadow step. That's bad news for you, buddy. Oh, not bad enough. Okay. Get it together. Well, I don't really have time to keep screwing around with this, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot you with the stock. Should have kept that for the turret, actually. That was somewhat silly of me. On reserves. I need a kill to take that turret out. Somewhat silly of me, as I said. Now I'm going to need to take a sniper rifle shot with the mag rifle and hope it can convert some damage here. Very nice. Very well done. Target disabled. Okay, let's keep moving in. Here I come. Oh, shoot. Eyes on Advent Not more of them. I ain't got time for that. They're all sitting out in the open, though, which is definitely good. You can try to pull a disorient on everyone. Move up and flashbang them all. It's not great, Beegs. You haven't wangled yourself into a great situation here. You can ostensibly kill one of them straight up, though. Six to eight with a 40 to crit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's quite likely you can just straight up kill the Lancer. Let's try it. Very nice. You are dead. You are very dead. You want some more? I don't think he wants any more, Beagle. I think he's done. Okay, we're gonna move up. And get some shots from Bone Daddy. On that advent trooper. Let's do this. Bang bang. Oh, dead as disco. And it's just a sectoid left. Considering that was only two people left, that's not a bad way to handle an unexpected pod, I think. I think this squad's pretty powerful. Oh, but there's another pod out there because he's running off to get them. Viper pod. Here we go. Viper. Trooper and a sectoid. Could be a lot worse. I'm okay with that. The clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault Need that loot. Need that loot. Before we run out of time. Loot, loot, loot. Give me that loot. Give me that loot. I need it. Got any grenades left, anybody? Yes, Kyori has plenty of grenades left. Why didn't you ask earlier? Uh, let's roll up. Tired of waiting around. Objective located. What's over there? Menace 1 5. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Okay, these suckers going down. Granata? Grenade! From the big Kilroy man. Still got some cover on that Viper. That's alright. We'll deal with that. I want that loot. I'm gonna get that loot. I wonder if the Mimic Beacon can pick up loot. That's an interesting question. It's a question I kind of want to find the answer to as well. Let's find out. Move up. Roger that. What if we throw the Mimic Beacon as a distraction and then also see if it picks up loot? 
Holographic decoy. It does not pick up loot. That makes a lot of sense, but it still makes me sad. Okay, Bone Daddy can go ahead and pick something up. Probably better off shooting, though, of this guy. Of this master. Alternatively, you could move to this position and still, like, flashbang a whole bunch of them, too. Or combat protocol. Beagle's still ready, too. Okay. Let's move to the side, Bone Daddy. I want that loot. Thank you. Double cores, excellent. Why am I on cargo duty? <laughs> We've got a 96% to lance this Viper into the Shadow Realm, which is a pretty good, uh, pretty good chance, I think. Assuming we can kill this trooper. Which seems doable. Mm-hmm. Yep. Seems very doable. Whoa! You see that? Okay, so next we'll just be moving into here and slashing. Ha cha 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 cha. You're not quite dead, are you? But guess what? I don't think Vipers can dodge combat protocol damage. Here comes the Desert Bone Daddy combo coming at ya. The Desert Skull. You're done. Say goodnight. And it's just the Sectoid left. Imagine if the Sectoid made a snake zombie, that'd be terrifying. So in the end the Mimic Beacon wasn't necessary, but it was science. I wanted to see if I could pick up loot with the Mimic Beacon, it was good science. We got him on the run! Okay, the Sectoid's going to find another pod. Nope, they're getting roof access. Oh my god, there is another pod, wow! I've got eyes on position. How many pods are there? Trooper, Stun Lancer, Officer... God, and they're all spread out for my grenades too. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, you... you be dead in a second. I come up here, you be dead. You be dead. Pretty sure you be dead. Get off my roof! Or stay on it, whatever, just be dead. You see that? <laughs> I did, as always, I saw that. Running dry. Kong, gonna need another grenade over here. Another grenade, my good man, please. That'll be okay. Kilroy shares a name with uh, Organ UK now that I think of it. Alright. We don't want to hit the objective though. We have to be very careful not to hit the objective here. But just... Just hits the guy. Get ready for a surprise. Do not hit the objective. Pop. Great. Just as we wanted it. <laughs> that guy really doesn't like me shooting at him, huh? Poor chum. 95, he's dead. 48 on the other one. Can we get Bone Daddy in position to hack this objective now? Let's move in. Here I come. Yes, Bone Daddy can hack the objective now. Excellent. 62, 87. Pike, etc. Okay, we'll go ahead and take the snipe snipe. Campbell's got us covered. Campbell's got us very covered. Good riddance. Now we just need to see what we can do about this advent trooper, I think, chaps. No such luck there. Good. So instead, fast. we'll just keep him pinned with suppression. Roger that. Suppressing hostile. Now the sector is going to do something. We'll wait to see what. Doing some psychic crap. Mind control, not good. 
mind controlling someone who could one-shot any of my troops if they decided to. That's not good. Taking heavy fire. We still have a flashbang on anyone. I'm pretty sure we do, don't we? Doesn't Bone Daddy have a flashbang? Menace one five. You're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. Sure do. Okay, time to carry. Hack the chest. Accessing system. Bone Daddy got this covered. Hack. It's all right. We don't need to kill you, Ghost. You'll be fine. Research time on the current tech reduced by 50%. Ooh, that would be so good if I'd research plated armor. I should remember the research plated armor before I go on missions like this in case this comes up. Uh, or reduce the contact cost for a nearby region by 50%. I've already got that though, so let's just go ahead and reduce the time on advent mech breakdown. Oh, I didn't even get it, so whatever. <laughs> whatever. I really need to remember to switch my research to something really long before I go on these missions, just in case that's the reward. Because you could totally cheese that. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Yes, yes, yes. Just the sectoid, thank you. Light them up! Flashbang! It was a good move, sectoid. I mean, I'll give you that. It was a good it was a good try. It's just, you're fucked now, that's all. 96, 7, and 9, or 100%, 6 to 8, we have laser sight crit. What will we do? Which seat should I take? Let's move already! It's Friday. Friday. Getting down on 69% crit Friday. Goodbye. Alrighty. Biggs got this guy covered. The objective is complete. Everything's turning up Johnny at this point. Gonna go ahead and take a reload. We're gonna suppress this guy. Let's rock! Might blow up some of his cover. Stay put. Nope. Doesn't matter, we're gonna take our shot. And you are very dead. You are dead twice. You are double jeoparded. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Won't lie. It was more difficult. Um, but I think we still cleaned house on that one. 13 enemies down, and that is a lot of intel for us. A lot of intel. Nice job, my Africa Corps. For your first desert mission, that was pretty damn good. Now surely Jambalos Suarez, surely one of these girls has come out a front of the Murder Olympics by now. There's a lot of intensity going on. Suarez got a lot of kills. I think she might just be ahead now. Our troops are making it look easy out there, Commander. Ho -ho. All thanks to you. No, Jambles one ahead now. That last trooper kill, one ahead, well there you go. Okay, so Lieutenant Suarez is going to be the first captain though. Doing pretty well for yourself, Ghost. So she's going to be up to Implacable or Bladestorm. Bladestorm allows you to take a free sword attack at any enemy that enters or attacks from melee range. Implacable makes it so if you score one or more kills on your turn, you are guaranteed, uh, granted a single bonus move. Obviously, if you're blade focused, you're going to want Blade Storm uh, because that plus two damage on Blade Master combined with Blade Storm is going to work really well for you. If you're not so much focused on your blade damage, uh, Implacable lets a run and gun, uh, gun shotgun focused, uh, firearms focused ranger constantly take flank shots and then move back into better cover. Uh, you can't shoot again with the second move. Um, I don't believe. Uh, but I know you can, you know, move again, which is the point. It is a move. It's not an action. It's a move. So we're going to go ahead and get Implaceable. And I have finally made my way to Lieutenant. Uh, which means as an explosive expert, uh, demolitions focus Grenadier, I'm going to want to pick up Heavy Ordnance. I think, I mean, I think Hollow Targeting is almost worth taking on both your Grenadiers, even if you have two of them. But that said, 
It's almost worth taking on both your Grenadiers. But that said, I think Heavy Ordnance is also pretty good. Not something you want to pass up. And good to have on at least one of your Grenadiers, especially the one who's going to pick up Volatile Mix later. So I'm going to pick up Heavy Ordnance on Beads. And it's going to be one more grenade in my uh, grenade-only slot. Nicely done, guys. Lyrium Core, another laser sight. Whole bunch of wrecks. Good haul for corpses. <laughs> Tykin. <laughs> Tykin, I'm sorry. I know you said you'd get mad, but Commander, I don't even... I don't even want to talk about it, Commander. I don't even want to talk about this. Just look at my fucking face. And just get out of here. Also, we have a bunch of other autopsies, too. <laughs> And a turret breakdown. Excellent work, Commander. But I can't even think about that because I'm so mad. Continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. We stopped vigilance, which would have made it so the enemies would have had a greater sight range uh, when we we're in concealment. So that's handy. Command, as we rapidly develop and deploy advanced scientists. new technologies, any recruits you encounter with a proclivity towards the sciences would be of great use to me. Yeah, I know. I just. I really prefer engineers. I'm sorry. I I'm s I'm sorry, Tygen. Maybe once this is all over, we should take this ship and go colonize one of their planets. Bradford, how much have you been drinking? Be honest. Okay, we got a supply drop still available. Got another resistance contact. Nice. Really good. Uh, but we just need to finish this radio beak. Uh, no, no, the black smoke, so we can make contact with South Africa. After we finish the supply drop, then after we make contact with South Africa, we can get another resistance contact. Then we can cross over, maybe to Europe, uh, and get those facilities going. I don't know what the red line means. Does that mean there's a route if we make it to Eastern Europe to then go to America? Maybe. Maybe we should take Europe. I don't know. But first things first, let's get that black smoke. Alright, we got that smoke. Massive plumes of black smoke are gonna give us 50% off our next sale. Because we encourage the protesters. Good job. Avenger plotting new course. Oh, I want all this stuff so badly, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Grab the money. Supply drop done with. Okay, uh, now... We can go to the black market and afford that plated armor breakdown, Avenger I think. Plotting new course. We've got so much intel, I think we can afford it now. And that'll be very good. Market is open. Plated armor, rush, rush. Very nice. Could buy some more supplies and all this crap, but I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to save the rest of the intel for uh, making more regional contacts. Speaking of which... Resistance comms ready in one day, and then we'll be able to make contact with South Africa for 60 intel, which is a pretty damn good bargain. Um, but for now, we're just going to start working on this contact for this Avenger day. Plotting new course. Because we haven't got the resistance comms built just yet. It's a really good bargain, though. Resistance communications Great. facility now operational. One extra contact inside the uh, resistance comms telephony call center and we can put an engineer in here to get even more contacts as well but for now we're gonna put drake to work down here trying to get this power coil room open for us as quickly as possible 12 days that's pretty quick considering what we're getting out of that so that's pretty good okay let's fly over and make contact with uh South africa commander we've utilized all of our available communications capacity we can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Now, if I ride the line on the Avatar Project timer properly, we should have a couple of bailouts here between the facility and the Black Site Project while we make our way to the rest of the world. Once we've covered the rest of the world, we can take out these facilities uh, and be safe from the Avatar Project's progress. But for now, I think of the project so close to already being completed or entering its doom phase, what we want to do is probably let that trigger, ride the timer down, uh, and then basically jockey the timer uh, to stall for time as we make it to the rest of the world. I think we'll need that, uh, that assistance. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Skull mining is complete. Excellent. So that's going to give a plus 20, I believe, hack 
to anyone who is using the Skulljack, which is excellent. I'm gonna buy some experimental ammo to put on Jamble. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. And things are going well. Go ahead and stick that on uh, Bone Daddy right now. There you go. There's your new toy. Look at that. Is that is that really plus 25 just off that item? Plus 25 off the Skulljack. My god. That is such a good bonus. Fuck, you are getting strong at hacking, Bone Daddy. You are getting good. I am sure you will find the results oh. to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. And you're about to get even better. Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. So now, with the Advent mech autopsy done, now we can build the Gremlin Mark II. Uh, oh boy. So now his hacking's about to get even better. And we also get some anti-robot uh, grenades and ammo. Which is also good. It's just not as exciting. I would like to get plated armor rolling, I think. Mutant autopsy is good because I can get the uh, plasma grenades, I think. Mm, which one do I want first? Probably mutant autopsy is more important to me right now. And then plated armor will become much more important to me in the near future. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. Football. Crack that shrimp open. Alright, we're gonna do mutant autopsy first. Maybe we should start training someone else to pilot the Avenger. I'm never going to get any work done if Mr. Bradford can't keep the ship steady. Commander? Leave Mr. Bradford alone, it's not his fault. I'm gonna buy the Gremlin Mark II. I wish we had a simulator for Bradford to practice on. If he crashes this ship, I might just hand him over to Advent myself. Wow. Um, everyone's just giving Bradford shit about his flying lately. Remember the time he saved us from that UFO with his clever flying? I remember, because he wrote that briefing about his clever flying afterwards, and I didn't forget. Um, now we've got a Gremlin Mark II, which uses his abilities better, like combat protocol does more damage, and etc. Uh, and also gives him another plus 20 to his hack. So Bone Daddy basically just became Neo in, like, four or five missions. So that's really handy. I'm going to get some really good hack rewards off of him now. Keep making contact. Commander, the aliens mm -hmm. aren't slowing down. They've already got multiple okay. facilities operating across the globe. We're running out of time. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bounce from South Africa to West Africa using that resistance contact airstrip. So we can bounce between Black Site, facility, facility. And we've got enough contacts for it because we'll put, so we'll put an engineer in the resistance comms that'll give us plus six. We'll, gra the, we'll grab the airstrip resistance contact that'll make it seven. So we need that resistance contact, but we're okay, basically. Okay, so now we're going to enter the doom phase. Doom phase is okay, don't worry. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Don't worry. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. This Commander, is okay. We're almost out of time. The Avatar project is entering its final stages. Okay. The only way we're going to slow the Elder's progress is by destroying one of their facilities. We have to move fast or everything we've worked towards will be lost. Now, I don't want you to freak out. We have to go stop this terror strike in East Africa first, though. But basically, when you trigger the final uh, amount of Avatar progress, uh, you've got 20 days to reset the clock. Don't worry. We've got it all planned. Uh, but first, we need to take out... Uh, the retaliation strike in East Africa in Operation Northern Heroes. Let's get over there. Setting course for Sector 12, East Africa. All right, we haven't been running into too many Vipers lately, so I'm willing to replace the medkit on Suarez uh, with a battle scanner, I think. Or at least on someone. That way, we've got the battle scanner to reveal the faceless, which, as we keep seeing, is quite an important thing to do. Uh, but on the other hand, we do have uh, scanning protocol on uh, Bone Daddy, to handle that for us in the worst case. Uh, but I think overall the battle scanners will help us more. Uh, I don't think we'll need a kit. I think we'll take these scanners instead. Hopefully they won't break a concealment. If they do, what are you going to do about it, right? Apart from that, we're geared up. Scans, frags, 
Uh, Skulljack on Mr. Skeletal, uh, Bone Daddy. We have got Jamble of the Mean Beacon and with a lot of firepower. Overall, uh, we're pretty goddamn loaded here. Gremlin Mark II on Bone Daddy as well. Yeah, man. Overall, we're pretty damn loaded. Let's hit this mission. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Now that we've got the alien's attention, they're taking it out on one of the resistance outposts in the area. We're heading in to secure the camp and protect as many civilians as we can. Eliminate all hostile forces attacking the site. Make them regret coming after the resistance. All right, well, that'll be Operation Northern Hero next time as we touch down to try and save Unity Ridge in East Africa from Advent Reprisal. Until then, hope you had fun and have a good one.